Isotope Audio Lens allows you to capture reference tracks from pretty much any audio that you can play through your computer. So streaming sites like iTunes, Spotify, Amazon Music, things like that. From CDs, if you still have optical drive on your computer, you can capture references from those, from WAV files, MP3s, things like that. Videos that you play through your computer, you can capture reference tracks from those. Pretty much any audio that you can play on your computer, you can capture reference tracks from and save them then load them into the latest version of Isotope Ozone or Neutron. And this is great for somebody like me. Although I have a large music library and vinyl and CDs, I don't have those on my computer and I don't even have an optical drive in my computer to play a CD. So I 100% use streaming websites and I'm looking forward to using Audio Lens to capture some reference tracks. Now, an important thing to note here is that this doesn't record any audio. It just captures data like tonal balance, dynamics, and width from the tracks that you're referencing. And it's not going to magically make your track sound like your favorite artist, but if you do a decent job at mixing, it's going to give you the same sort of characteristics as those mastered tracks that you reference. And this can make your music sound more professional and polished so it fits in with other tracks that might be streaming on Spotify or iTunes, wherever people are listening to music. Now, another important thing to note here is that this is a standalone program, so you don't need to load it up into any other program. It just runs on your desktop and it's available on Mac or Windows. And if you grab it before November 22, 2022, you can grab it for absolutely free. Now, let's check it out in action. So I have a track here loaded up in Amazon Music. It's one of my own tracks, so I'm going to start playing it and show you how easy it is to capture a reference. All right, so I've captured the reference that I want and I can save this now. I can just say electric shark. All right, I've got it saved there and you can see I've captured some other ones here. This is the doors one that I'm actually going to use on my track. So let's check out how we do that. I have my mix down track loaded up here and I have an instance of isotope ozone loaded up on the master bus here. And what we want to do is just run the master assistant. So we have to play our audio. And the sun shines bright, destroying the night. Like days of gold, falling on my skin. Like summer days that never Like a lake without a wave inside. I'm going to jump. All right, and once it's done, you can just stop it. And now we want to go to this icon right here where we'll load our reference file. And you can see we have the three that I have saved in Audio Lens. So there was the Electric Shark one that I just saved, and we're not going to use that. I was just showing you how to capture it. What we're going to use is this Doors one that I captured earlier. So we just clicked on that reference file. It's loaded all of that information into Ozone 10. Now let's just hear how the track sounds with Ozone on and off. And the sun shines bright, destroying the night. Like days of gold, falling on my skin. Like summer days that never seem to end. And if we want, we can change things like the maximizer here so we can increase that or decrease the maximizer. Also, you can increase or decrease how much of the EQ is being applied and same with this stabilizer here. So there is some settings that we can change. You can change the dynamics match and also the width, but really that's how easy it is to use the audio lens. You just capture about eight seconds at least of whatever track you want to reference. You load up your track, load up Ozone 10, you run the master assistant, you go to the select reference, click on that reference that you saved, 
and that's it. And you can adjust things if you want, but it's that easy. Now, if you wanted to just capture the sound of, say, guitar or maybe drums, if you find a track that has isolated drum sounds or isolated guitar or vocals, whatever it is you want to capture, you can do the same sort of thing by capturing that reference. And then if you load up Neutron, you can load those references into Neutron onto individual tracks. So if you found a drum that was just a solo drum and you like that drum sound, load up Neutron onto your track, your drum track, and then load that reference onto there. And you can copy the same sort of dynamics and characteristics of that drum sound that you like. And if you want more information on Isotope Neutron, click the video on the screen. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching for Audio Tech TV. I'm Zane. Keep creating. Fist bump. Thumbs up.